Changemakers, brought to you by Adapt Community Network, empowering people through innovative solutions one person at a time. We change. You've seen her passion, grit, and fight at dozens of news conferences. Whether what we do is popular or not, I really don't care. I only care if it's right. A tireless and fearless advocate for those whose rights she believes have been violated or threatened. Gloria Allred's legal career spans four decades. You were battling for women's rights and so many rights before people really knew what women's rights were. Well, that's true. There would be no need for women's rights if there were no wrongs against women. Born into a working class Jewish family in Philadelphia, Allred came from very humble beginnings. You did have something happen when you were much younger that I think uh, allows you to understand these women. None of us are spared. When I was young, when I was in my 20s, I was sexually assaulted by a medical doctor in Mexico. And as a result, I became pregnant. She wound up sick in the hospital after a botched abortion by an unlicensed healthcare worker. That's why I am so committed to making sure that no woman should have to risk her life with an illegal abortion. It's just one of the reasons she works to empower those who need it most. To give a voice to the voiceless, hope to the hopeless, and power to the powerless. Despite her high-profile cases and camera-ready persona, it took the fame advocate two years to agree to a documentary highlighting her storied career. It's aptly titled Seeing All Red, now playing on Netflix. You should use these resources to arrest these fathers who are not paying their child support. We see a number of the high-profile cases uh, in the documentary. We see a young woman who was sexually abused by seven Catholic priests and had a baby by one of them. And we fought that case for 23 years and finally won a settlement. We see two lesbian life partners who were my clients and we fought for the right to marry for eight years in, in California. Is Gloria Allred afraid of anything? Uh, I'm not really afraid of anything because uh, I think fear has a cost. Fear keeps women subordinated and minorities deprived of their rights. So that's a luxury I cannot afford. And you would think after all her success, she'd take a moment to breathe. Yeah, I don't want a vacation. I'm not interested in going. I just want to continue working for as long as God gives me this gift of life. That's why Gloria Allred says she's most at peace helping others. I always say, pray for the dead and fight like hell for the living. That's what I have done. That's what we should all continue to do.